If there's one thing Kaiserite does well, it's wallpapers. Look how stunning this is. Single player, new game. We're going to play as a country, and that country will be the Kingdom of Ukraine. For no particular reason. None at all. No reason at all. Ukraine. <laughs> Let's go. Kaiserreich is an alternative history scenario where the Germans won World War One, and this is the world that's been created from that outcome. Uh, today we'll be siding with the Germans, which means we'll have a two-pronged attack from the communes to the west and the Russians to the east. Russians invading Ukraine? Oh boy. War. War never cheese. And I'm going to teach you how to cheese the focus tree. This is not going to be a law history star video. This is going to be more about min maxing. Do you want to play Kaiserite the most optimal way possible? Well, you found the right video, bro. First of all, national focuses. Welcome to Kaiserite. And luckily, you don't have to deal with a really big focus tree. Everything is a lot more simple. The first thing we're going to do is up right here is gain a big bunch of army experience. 50 XP at the start of the game. Very useful now with the officer core. And we're going to select all our army and convert them to what we got we got horses so we'll convert them to horses and then we'll garrison them here so they don't have supply problems and we will exercise indefinitely to gain xp already for the incoming cluster fudge boom civilian factories we'll make uh, a few here and a few here and then we can make mills from there on in that looks good as a part of the german faction we get the bonuses of being a part of the german faction lots of research it's like the british empire in regular hoy but German. Ooh. And then we work on our industry. Marvelous. Exercise the planes. Boom. Let's go. What's this? Modify government. You can change nothing. Gee, thanks. Whoops. Almost forgot about our production as well. Let's uh, work on those light tanks, shall we? Oh my goodness. This is horrendous. Okay, let's not work on the light tanks. Boom. Boom. Off we go. So what issues have we got to deal with? Hetman's army. Not a very well-trained army. Like real life. Issue of Russian language. Like real life. Wow. Historical game. Black Monday for Ukraine. It wouldn't be Kaz, right, would it, with all that red? Ugh. We've got two choices now. Either go for Doctrine Experimentation, which is Mobile Warfare, basically, or Lessons of the World Creek, which is Grand Battle Plan. For the most part, the best passive bonus is down the right-hand side, like Reinforce Rate, Extra Population, Extra Reinforce Rate. Yeah, the big passive bonuses are here, but we want to focus on tanks. We want to focus on mobility. We want to focus on breakthrough. So Doctrine Experimentation is where we're going. We've got surplus guns now, so why not make a few more extra divisions, right? And that'll do. The more divisions we're exercising, the more XP will gain what xp we gain the more modifications we can make to our officer core and look at this for instance pressure the german order plus 10 percent org plus five percent division recovery that's pretty good right for now there's no focuses we need so we're just going to sit on select national focus gaining as double political power per day and then wait for our future to unlock soon agrarian crisis <sighs> Goodbye, civilian factories. When you modernize Ukraine later in the game, you'll get those civilian factories back. But unfortunately, they've been yoinked for now. Light tank one is done. Light tank two. Stacking stability is always good in the long term. So we're going to do that immediately. So we've just dropped below 50% stability due to a bunch of bad events. So boom, push that stability back up again. You can only do this when you're below 50% stability. So do it now. And later on, when you stack all the stability, you'll be very close to 100%. Getting some juicy production bonuses. For satellite for now, we're going to have to deal with the red. All right, deploy those divisions. Deploy, 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 exercise, war games. Give me XP, please. More. Kingdom of Ukraine unlocks our future. What is our future? Good question. The far left path is, well, the far left. You will side with France and the UK. The coalition path will try and work a little bit with the left and a little bit in the right, but nah, balls to that. We're going to go with the right. Dissolve our government. And uh, eventually we break everything apart and then we rebuild it back up again. Become the federal state of the kingdom of Ukraine. Monarchist and democratic and parliamentary. You know what? All of the governments, all of the time. Well, this time. Prohibit syndicalism. That's right. We're not working with other parties. We're doing our own thing. Get out of here. Out. You know how you know this is a Kaiserite game? Current wars. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, we all know if Germany won, this would have been the worst timeline. Guaranteed. All right. Not going to select a focus for a little while because I want to mobilize. We've got the option to go for partial, so I need to just save up 200 PP. All right. Improved. Light tank is done. We're going to go for a basic armor protection. All the tank upgrades. Right about near. And disperse too. Partial mob. Official French Republic, not Chad. Partial mobilization. Then hop on to the next focus. A professional army, which yoinks some of our population, which isn't a big deal because Ukraine's got a lot of pop. And it also reduces our planning speed, which, once again, not a big deal. All right, basic armor's done. We need to go for the basic engine now. Isn't it strange that you uh, you've researched the armor and the engine after when you've researched the chassis? So you've just got a chassis.
chassis with a no engine and no no armor. A peasant state. I read that as pleasant state. We'll, we'll go with the pleasant state. A pleasant nation of Ukraine. What could go wrong? Oh boy. A little bit of a supply problem, so I'm just going to spread the divisions out just a little bit more. <laughs> it just gets worse and worse and worse. Civil war, civil war, civil war, rebellion, rebellion, revolt, revolt, uprising. Can you imagine this game if the regular Hoy 4 UK was in it? Can you imagine the guarantees? <sighs> the thought scares me. <laughs> I'm going to assign a general too. We'll add on someone who's uh, really good with logistics. Ah, oh, no. In fact, no. It doesn't matter. This guy's interesting because he can get adaptable immediately. Ooh. And the uh, field marshals are rubbish. In that case, I'm going to promote you. Logistics wizard. Oh, what a perfect combination. Promote Ukrainian unity based. If you don't believe me, this is this is Kaiserreich and this and this. <laughs> and Nicaragua as well. Look at South America, the most peaceful continent. Engine's done. More armor. All right, let's make a light tank. Light tank, light chassis. Give it a cool model. Three-man turret uh, with a small cannon. Bogey suspension, welded armor, diesel engine, and whack on as much armor as we can. And whack up the engine so it's at least four kilometers per hour. There we go, the version one. As time goes on, we will add more armor to it. But for now, that'll do just great. The Commune of France is justifying against us. Oh no, oh no. Are we gonna get a really early World War II? Ooh, it's looking like it. So it is. The leader of the International, France, Italy, Nicaragua. I guess that will be the equivalent of modern day Cuba. And the Germans with wow, a lot of minor powers, put it that way. Russia has not picked a side yet. So it's unclear at the moment who they will side with. Time will tell. Federalization, this is important because it allows us to do the full electrification of Ukraine, which gives us back those civilian factories and it reduces our consumer goods like at that 5%, 15%, giving the Ukraine economy a massive jolt to life. Federalization, let's begin the recovery. War is looking more and more likely now, so we're gonna have to work on basic gun techs. Go, go, go. Everyone's hungry for a chunk of hungry. Regional languages no longer have issues with Russians <laughs> for now. Okay, let's research anti-air. And we also need to select this tank and state to auto upgrade when we get text. This will save us so much XP. Tank will auto upgrade when new modules become research and get automatically added on. Definitely worth. First I thought, man, that was a lot of wars. And I'm like, oh, wow. Now we can complete the electrification of Ukraine out for stability but reduction of consumer goods is very good and the events will give us civilian factories as well as other industrial goodies i saw this icon here and i thought to myself wow that must be inflation right and i hover over and i'm like that's pretty good ostia strong more electrification i'd be a fool not to do this right yeah american union state tache give me that xp at this point, I don't need to exercise my arm anymore, so we'll convert these all to primary infantry and change the engineer. Now I have to take off the engineer and replace it with an armored recon company. This is where it starts. Look at the armor on this infantry division. 11 armor, 53 breakthrough, piercing, infantry tanks for the win. The only one thing we need to adjust with this is later to add on some AA. But apart from that, this is good. The Russian threat, it starts. Tied up my armies. These guys can be in reserve. These guys on the front line of Russia. Everyone exercise up to level three. Okay, supply right now is horrendous. So I think what I might do is just actually just leave them here. And then when the war starts, I'll put them back on the front line. Yeah, that'll be better. This goes without saying. Production, resources, finally fix the Black Monday issue. <sighs> Russia's declared war on our neighbors. Ooh, do we send lend lease? Tempting. Will they even stand a chance though? Five to 24 divisions? No, not a chance. The bear is too strong. All right, more eyes for extra supply assistance. AA, because we don't have any planes. Support, because we need a little trickle amount. Of course, we're going to need guns. A little trickle of artillery. And of course, light tank. The full electrification of Ukraine is complete. Give me infrastructure and stability. And we have a new tank model. How is this one different? Oh, it's got an improved cannon. Okay. Why do you default to the model, which hasn't got a turret? Closer and closer borders with the Russians. The Cuban nation has been annexed and Ukraine is now exposed. Like real life. All right, the reserves go here. The industrialization of Eastern Ukraine. Electricity has its benefits. Russia gobbling up Central Asia. What could go wrong, eh? Wars in Asia, hmm? Hmm? I have recently found love 
for the maintenance company. Reliability is nice, but uh, capturing equipment, it just means you never have to make infantry equipment practically ever again. So I'm down for that. At last, stabilization. Black, no more. The Eastern European Cooperation. So all of the Eastern powers will feed into like a central fund, like NATO. And then uh, we both get a piece of the pie if we need it. And I'm gonna be like, no, nah, nah. I can make a manual contribution if I want to down here, but I don't want it to be compulsory. Come on, guys. The Russian Empire's declared war on Estonia. Oof, not in our alliance, but coming a little bit close. A little bit more close than I would like. All right, we need more divisions, but we're still far behind on tanks at the moment. We need guns, we need equipment, we need everything. And finally, we've got rid of black money. We actually have a proper, proper industry now. Now we can do the succession question. So you either give a big F you to Germany, uh, you either side with the Russians, or you go for the grand coronation. Seeing as we're siding with the Germans, the only option is this one, the right one. So succession, monarchy, German fun, that's the path we're going down. The succession question. The heir to King Basil. Basil. The Germans are disappointed. The Austrians are disappointed. What? I thought this was a German path. We've got lots of political power, so medium tank manufacturer, industrial company, and then at that point we can start working on our high command. We are an authoritarian Democrat, and that's pretty much, I think, what we stay as. A new Ministry of Security. So go for the one that tickles your fancy. Would you like a bit of construction? Would you like a little bit of PP and a little bit of stability? I'll go for the middle guy. Finally, a surplus of tanks. All right, let's upgrade. Ooh, look at that model. And then we'll whack on a radio. Now we'll whack on a sloped armor and we'll slap on armor skirts and then we'll whack on loads of armor and then make it fast enough to go. Here we go. The version two getting a little bit expensive now, but you know what? So much armor on these light tanks, it will go a long way. A new government, authoritarian Democrats again. Do the grand coronation. It can't be the kingdom of Ukraine without having a king, right? Oh, wait, no. I blinked and I missed it. We're now paternal autocrats. And we can go for school of mass combat, extra attack and defense, and recruitable pop. Yeah, that's the best one. More perfection. He's engineers. And he's also anti-air. Oh, and one slot left. I wonder what the final one will be. Hmm. The Eastern European Corporation has given us support equipment. Wow. He actually knows what I need. That is actually really smart. Okay. I know I love this system. <laughs> Shame I can't contribute to it. And they're giving me a thousand guns as well. Damn. Cooperation really pays off, right? The grand coronation is complete. And now we've got access to all these bonuses. The best ones are the stability, the factories, and the research slot. Let's get that research slot done. An almost unified Russia. This one is a big boy. Oh, 200 divisions. <sighs> African explosion. Russia has been unified. All the breakaway states have been annexed. Well... Apart from these two. Dig in, lads. Here they come, flooding the front line. I wonder where they're going to try next. Hmm? There is a justification war goal against us. The Commune of France. Again, I don't know if I want to take this seriously or not. Time to hit the magical add supply button once and twice. Oh, I've just got enough motorized as well. Good. Less supply usage, more defense, more XP. It's a win-win-win scenario. And I'm going to go for limited conscription as well. Don't need the manpower right now, but I will later on. France has declared war on Germany. Now we clench and hope the Germans can hold. Oof. And also hope that Austria joins the war as well. All right, I'm going to send the main army over. You guys are going to hold the lowlands just to provide that little bit of extra support. And at home, you're probably thinking, oh, no, the Russians are going to attack. Well, good job. We trained some extra divisions, right? Join the war. The second Weld Creek. And you son of a bitch. Russia joins the war immediately. <sighs> All right, front line, field marshal front line, off you go. Two divisions, stay here, off you go, and off you go. Mobilize, lads. And by the looks of things, it looks like we're holding. Need more divisions, though. Drop them off, off you go. Little cheeky trick to gain a bit of stability. Spirit of the Academy, political loyalty. That gains us an extra 15 stability. Damn. And of course, pressure the German order. Extra org, recovery rate. Germany, strunk. Hold, hold. We need at least three full armies to pull this off. So one more. Oh, Lithuania. What are you doing? Let's switch sides. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna have to pull this army off and then take out Lithuania. Because otherwise, we're split. Unless we have access through Poland and they're gonna be like, nope. Okay, that isn't gonna happen. Hey, Engineer 2, do you know what that means? Flame on. We Ukrainian hot boy. That is an awful tank model. Can't even see the tracks, but it'll have to do. Wow, the Lithuanians are really weak, just chewing through them. Pierce those light tanks. Nope, and nope. Lithuania's been annexed. Do we, do we try and take some land? <laughs> 
Oh no. Here, in this game, I only make the best borders, okay? The very, very best. Time for the cheeky encirclements now. Wait for you to move away. In fact, now let's be a little bit more greedy. I believe, okay? I believe. Can you pierce this tank? Nope. <laughs> you probably don't get it, but this bonus is huge. I can understand some of these divisions are decent. They'll pierce them. Fair enough. I still get to take advantage of the extra breakthrough. But in this one instance right now, they can't pierce it. This infantry division just becomes way, way more stronger. Break. Break. And we got him. We got him, lads. We got him. I'm feeling pretty confident. Push. That looks like a win to me. Flame on, lads. Oof, look at all those pluses. That is some pretty hardcore terrain damage. Gonna go for the state serves the military, makes conscription changes cheaper, and extensive conscription. Oh no, Denmark's not looking too good. All right, new recruits. Objective, retake Denmark. Been a long time coming. Time to get an actual doctrine. It's pretty a firepower. Damn, the new recruits are pretty strong. Like a knife through butter. Denmark liberated. Those divisions were so bad too. We can exercise this new army, and then they'll be on the front line and hopefully help out the Germans. Ooh, it's not looking too good for them, though. Am I brave enough and ballsy enough to exercise on the front line? Yeah, I am. And, oh, they probed me a little bit. And a little bit in the north. <laughs> <laughs> giving up already every division on the east the russians are showing weakness we're just gonna go big push and see how far we get things are looking good now we push them back in the lowlands austria's joined our faction a little bit of bad news though the belgrade pax has attacked us but luckily i think austria will do okay and romania just got a lot bigger what happened there was that like a rebellion our southern border is now vulnerable Oh, I don't want to pull off forces. We're all exercising and preparing for the big offensive. I don't want to break up the troops. I want to keep them all together. And here we have the future of trains. The commuter's dream. This train is awesome because it has more speed, more reliability, state-of-the-art tech. I'm joking. It's just cheaper. <laughs> Time for the big push. Off you go, lads. Oh, Belarus has joined us in the north as well. And as I thought, very few. I haven't found one yet. Division that's piercing our tanks. Not one. These must be like really poorly equipped troops. Yep. Every single one is getting through the front line without getting pierced. That's big. Preferred tactics. Suppressive barrage. That's the best one you're going to get for infantry. The best one is breakthrough, but you can only do that with tanks. So this will do. How are the fronts doing? The push eastward is a massive success and we still have momentum, so I'm just going to keep going. Meanwhile, Austria, Romanian front, the Serbians and Romanians are pushing back the Austrians. It's not looking good here. And the big front, the Western front, it looks like the Germans have a slight advantage, but it's become a bit of a stalemate as they've grounded down. But what do we have here? Aunt Taunt landing into the south of France. This will be the game changer. A new friend in the east, Japan. Kaiserite really has you against the ropes. Okay, we need a second offensive now because we need to grab this supply depot furthest east. Then we can control our attack and push further north. So go. Will we be able to push though mm, that's a good question supply here is pretty bad but by the looks of things just like they're having trouble with supply as well light tank chassis is done time for my final form interweaved road wheels welded armor petro electric engine <laughs> yep we're going there armor all of the armor and we'll stick with the improved small cannon we've got this far with it why not improved radio sloped armor armor skirts and extra ammunition storage. Make it fast enough, give it a nice model. This is a work of art. The main objective, Astrakhan in the east, the final supply depot, and then east and west is finally cut off, and then we can concentrate all our efforts in the north. This is our Stalingrad, and it is done. And this is the reason why we went down the left path. Minus 15% supply consumption. It's a logistics company for free for your entire army. And then why not have a little bit of breakthrough for your entire army? And why not have a little bit of free soft attack for your entire army? Free damage for the win. The final railway line connecting east from west is this one here. If we can split this one, that means that the capital is isolated from the entirety of Siberia. So that's the next objective. That's the objective. Get into position. The final push. The railroad has been severed. The end of Russia. Push for Petrograd. Will that be enough to annex them? Probably not, no. Oh, and Kai's right. They've upped the victory points of this capital. It's nowhere near 25 in the base game, is it? Yeah, they've buffed that to make Russia stronger. The final form. Advanced radio. Max out armor. It doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't get any more expensive than this, too. Italy has fallen. France has fallen. And the UK is just holding on. Never mind. They're not holding on anymore. War propaganda against the Finnish Socialist Workers' Republic. 
<laughs> Propaganda against someone. German reinforcements have arrived. They've broken through the center. I'm going to help them out in the north. Go, lads. Hey, Russia's finally fallen. Oh, wait, no, it was Finland. Never mind. Romania's fallen. Wow, they fell quick. And Russia has fallen. It's time for some pretty borders for Ukraine, right? I proclaim this greater Ukraine. What, a bunch of nations want to break free? How about no role play ever? Kaiser right fans, tell me how peed off you are right now. <laughs> Integrate. Novo Rosiski. Oh, wow, I can integrate all these lands as well. Integrate Rosdov. You know, I'm all for integration mechanics. Coring stuff is really fun, but we have no enemies now. <laughs> so what's the point? GG! This is the next video you want. <laughs>